Hello everyone. Welcome to this series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of market equilibrium. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS, and R Studio. Let's begin with the introduction. Market equilibrium can be explained with the help of demand and supply curves. Now we know that demand curve shows the negative relationship between price and quantity demanded and therefore we have downward sloping demand curve. The supply curve shows the positive relationship between price and quantity supplied and therefore we have upward sloping supply curve. You can find our video on demand theory and supply theory. The link is given in the description. Now market e achieves equilibrium when quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. So quantity demanded is equal to A minus B into P and quantity supplied is equal to C plus D into P. These are demand and supply equations. Now these two are equal. So therefore equilibrium price is equal to A minus C upon B plus D. This is the mathematical derivation. So P is equilibrium price and at this price quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. And this quantity is known as equilibrium quantity. So here we have the demand and supply schedule. Let's understand it with the help of diagram. On X axis we have quantity and on Y axis we have price. DD is demand curve which is downward sloping curve. SS is the supply curve. These two curves intersect each other at point E. So E is our equilibrium point. And at this point, price is OP. So OP is our equilibrium price. And OQ is our equilibrium quantity. So in table, you can see $30 is equilibrium price because at this price, quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. Now, if the market price is above the equilibrium price, you can see in the table, if market price is $40 or $50, we have the problem of excess supply. In table, you can see that supply is higher than demand at $40 price and $50 price. So therefore, there is downward pressure on the price. And fall in price will continue until we reach at point E. And we achieve equilibrium price OP. Similarly, if market price is below the equilibrium price, we have the problem of excess demand. In table, we can identify that if price is $10 or $20, quantity demanded is higher than quantity supply. So therefore, we have the problem of excess demand and we have the upward pressure on the price. So price will continue to rise until we reach point E and we achieve the equilibrium price OP. So this is the idea of equilibrium price and uh, how market achieves equilibrium. So price other than OP, if we have a market price which is not equal to the equilibrium price, then we have the imbalance between quantity demanded and quantity supplied. At Equilibrium price, these two are equal and therefore there is no reason to deviate from equilibrium point. There is no reason to change the mark equilibrium price. So OP is our equilibrium price, E is the equilibrium point and OQ is the equilibrium quantity. So we can explain the market equilibrium through demand and supply curves. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.